Hello and welcome back to another review of me getting from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. As a tease during the week there, I put a wee thing on my story on Instagram about a new bottle that I'd got, and this is it. So I've got something new, I'm going to uncork it, we're going to get the first kind of experience we can get with it and see if this is going to be any good or not. I got to try this um, last week and this is the reason why I've bought it. So I'm going to uncork it, we'll start talking about it, give it a bit of time in the glass to see if it can open up a little bit because we'll get into what it is in the ABV and so forth. So let's put that, let's see if we get a good pop. Very good, very good. So what I have here is the Rare Find Dalmanach five year old. This is pretty cool because this has been chosen by Roma Whiskies in Edinburgh and they've been able to choose a single cask and bottle it. This is a massive 62.6% ABV. Dalmanach, if you've maybe heard of it, you might not have heard of it. It's not one that's a commonly known distillery yet. If we kind of revert back in time, we look at Imperial Distillery. The Imperial Distillery was only kind of one of the distilleries I think ever named without um, its heritage. Ugh. There's some sort of kind of Thing in a whiskey quiz that I was in before, and it was something to do with the, the, the word imperial doesn't have anything to do with the distillery name, or so there's something mad, but I'll try and figure that out later. Imperial Distillery closed down, um, it was bought over, and I think in 2005 it went up for sale. They were trying to put um, build flats and things, trying to make it into accommodation more and tear the full distillery down. The distillery did finally get tore down, but they kept the warehouses, uh, I'm led to believe. Chivas came in and bought the distillery in 2014, I think it was, 2013-2014, and they started the work. So Dalmanach became the new distillery on the old site of the Imperial Distillery. 2014-2015 was the first year when they started running the stills, they were able to get up and running. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful distilleries out there as well, in the kind of new age. That's one that I've not been to, uh, I'm sure about. It's a space distillery up in Banff, kind of Aberdeen, shall we? And what we have here is the Rare Find Whiskey, owned by Glenn Moore. This is an independent bottler, one of the nicest bottles I've had. I've, I think I've done a Buna Haven before, no, sorry, a Ruth Laddie before, and a Aaron as well. I think they're both about 20, 22 year old. This is five years old, ex-bourbon barrel. Matured, as you can see, it's very light in colour. 62.6% ABV, natural colour, non shell filtered, bottled from cast number 92. So five years old, distilled in 2017, bottled in 2022. So if this has only came back to life um, in 2015, this is still kind of young whiskey. This isn't even 10 years old yet, this distillery. It's still new age, still coming through. I've had a Dalmanach before, I think it was in a... Um, Nebrehan cask, which was an ex Isla cask thing, but this is kind of raw in the sense of single cask ex bourbon. Royal Mill whiskies have been able to go and choose a whiskey that they think the cask is ready to go, and they've chosen this. So I'm hoping it's going to be good. I was in the Ensignor at one of my favourite whiskey bars in Edinburgh, and I was able to try it on the nose straight away. I really, really enjoyed it. And in fairness, in that time, the bottle was quite a, a way down. There's only maybe a quarter of it left or a, a little bit less than that. So it's had time to breathe. So to go to this just now is something as high ABV. The first impressions of it, is it going to be a good neck pour? Is it going to be a tight neck pour? I'm not too sure, but we're looking at a kind of new distillery, a new age. The DNA that they're trying to profile here is something kind of lighter, more citrusy led um, fronts from it and how the, how the distillery itself is made up. I love a good bourbon cask, I'm not going to lie. So I'm hoping that this is going to be good. From what I had the other day, uh, last week when I was in Edinburgh, went to the shop and he says it was the only one they had left. I actually had to get it in from one of the other stores uh, and get it shipped to me. So I got the last one. So I think if you go online now and you try and find it, it's not there, unfortunately. But we'll get to the price in a minute as well. We'll get this on the nose just now. We'll get it on the palette. We'll see what we get the first initial notes to it. I've got this in my wee Glen Cairn that uh, I got from Isla from Duffy's Bar, the Lochside Hotel. So straight away just looking at the legs on it, there's not much going on. It's, it's sticking there, there's nothing really dripping. So I think this is going to be a little bit different from what we're used to. The ABV, I'm not sure it's going to go for how high it is, but yeah, there's not much. 
super super light straw he like colour to it. Let's get this on the nose. It is fresh, a lot of kind of fresh clean cut green apple. Lemony limes. There's that kind of little barley sugar in there as well. That kind of barley water, that young note to it. The backdrop there of honey. Toffee fudge. It is typical kind of bourbon notes. The weird thing, the, the kind of barley note is the, like the closest I'll get to the new make from it. And for, for how young this is, I would expect to get a lot more real new make spirits to it. But I'm not getting that. Apple, citrus. A little bit of barley in there. A little bit of kind of sweet wood is what I'm getting. It's not okay, but it's... It's more sweet with 62%. No, weirdly not getting that on the nose. It's quite settled. But it's light. So moving about the glass a little bit more now, the legs are starting to go. And I don't know if that's me being swollen a bit more, giving it a bit more chance to open up. But I'm starting to see those legs really taking a time to come down just, just quite slowly. But it's a fresh dram. It's light. If I had this blind, would I suggest this was even a single figure? No, I, I think this is a bit, it's got a bit more age to it than five years old. And the ABV, I'd be caught out. I think this is one if you ask people to write down what do you think the age is in the ABV, they'd be all over the place. But I'm liking the nose to it. That little bit of barley sugar in there as well, that kind of barley water, I, I'm, I'm enjoying that. It's a closeness that you're getting to the, the new make of it. But I think it's been a quality cask that's really shining through and giving the DNA profile to Dalmanach. Let's get this on the palate. Enough chatty. Let's land your gun. Alcohol's definitely there in the palate. That 62% is kind of flying through. A lot more kind of oakiness to it. Uh, still sweeter notes coming through. But I'm starting to get a slightly dry and oaky note to it. Dry wood. Sweet. A little bit of citrus is still staying there. That green apple's more forefront. A little bit lemon peel, lemon zest. And still quite drying off but really really grabs the palate i think for the strength of it it's a good kind of first initial taste to it but i think it's going to need water it's quite powerful it's good there's a kind of creaminess in there as well now there's a kind of weird uh, creaminess coming through in the palate quite thick i'm gonna add some water but it's staying, it's trying to stay light. I'll add a wee bit more. So that's a good wee kind of clop in there of water. I think, give it a wee second to kind of mingle in with it. I think on the nose straight away, this was one of the drams that I really enjoyed. I remember smelling it and I, I thought, whoa, this is really good cask. Couldn't appreciate how young it was. I thought, I need to get this. We go back to price on it. It's five years old, it's a new distillery, it's a hand-picked single cast bottling. It was £60, just, just less. Well, paid a little bit more because I had to get it shipped to the house. But yes, it's five years old. You're trying something completely different. You know, you could have £60 and spend it somewhere else. But from the single cask rare finds that I've had before, I've really enjoyed them. I've not been stead, like put in a wrong direction yet. So I'm thinking this would be the same. I'm trying it last week, as I said, just below half maybe quarter left of the bottle it was very enjoyable and that was the inside out say one of my favorite whiskey bars in edinburgh and they've always got quality there so i've never i've never been steered wrong so a wee bit of, of water in there it's still keeping that green apple still keeping that barley water barley sugar there's a little bit of that kind of strawness that straw hay the kind of raw materials of whiskey 
prior to it being being mashed, but there's a maybe it's more the mash that I'm smelling. But you can get a little bit of barley for sure. Space age is typically light in things. I'm getting the lighter notes. I think that the apple, the lemons and limes, more more kind of lemon note to it. Then honeys, toffee. Vanilla's not really there, it's more of a kind of toffee fudge. Creaminess, it's like a creamy fudge. And I think that's that texture I was getting in the palette. I'm excited to see now what it's going to do with a bit of water on in there to see if it's going to open up. Let's try with that. Slams again. It stays quite sweet. That kind of creamy toffiness comes through with that. It's more like lemon shavings on it now. If you've got maybe a toffee pie, creamy toffee pie, and a bit of lemon shavings on there, that kind of citrus blast, the sweetness is coming through. And again, I think that's a lot of that barley water. If you go to a distillery and you go to the wash packs, you get to kind of try the, the low wines, as they say prior to it being put through the stills there's that kind of hint in there that kind of sweet water note and i'm really enjoying that i think this is going to open up to be what i had last week it knows he's great it knows he's not like a 62 percent whiskey i think it knows he's less than that and it's lighter notes the palette is good there's a creaminess coming through from it and just sweet notes but not overly sweet i think it's been a fantastic cask i think it's been really great and it's it's worked really well say dalmanach it's a whiskey maybe not a lot of people have tried because it's so young but i think this is 60 pound well spent so far and i can only anticipate this being better from trying it as it's just been opened as we've done just now and trying it last week when it's been down to to just about the five here just a little bit low as another rare find by Glenn Moore Spirits, I think that has done me the job well. So that's three for three for an independent, which is really good. And I think it's finding something quality. My only gripe, and I think I said this before, is I love the bottle. I think it's fantastic. My only gripe is it's not shelf friendly. It's just got that wee bit of extra height to it, which doesn't like to be on the shelf. So it has to go quite up high. But I, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to go and sit back. I'm going to go and finish this off and just, just enjoy it and try and get through it a wee bit more as well. But good job, good price, good quality whiskey. I'm happy. Again, thanks for everyone for tuning in. Thanks for liking, subscribing, for leaving comments and things. As I say, I do see them every single time. It's hard to get around to them all. But I do, I do see them, but I appreciate everyone that comments and, and likes and subscribes to the channel. It's the way it grows, right? But I'm going to go and sit back, I'm going to go and enjoy this as usual and see if I can pick anything else up on it. And we'll get a wee review again of this uh, maybe in half a year or so, six months time and see if we've got a wee bit through it and see if anything changes. But as always, I've been Kevin from Kevin Gantt Whiskey. Join me next week. Let's talk whiskey.